Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to prepare three different ways of lasagna. We're going to prepare the classic lasagna, we're going to have a vegetarian lasagna and a multi sausage lasagna. And I'm going to go through it with you from A to Z, the final product. And we're going to start off with the classic lasagna. We have the bechamel. I'm preparing this recipe for two people, so I'm going to have two portions of Classic, two portions of multi sausage and two portions of uh, vegetarian. Okay, so basically, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit of bechamel, the beef ragout. Okay, so that's the first one ready there. There you go. Over here, I have 100 grams of uh, parmesan cheese and 100 grams of mozzarella. Okay, I'm going to again separate it into three, not put all of it together because we have three layers, okay? So that's the cheese over there. We have the pasta, lasagna pasta, pasta sheets, okay? That's one ready. My black pepper is somewhere and I don't know where it is, I'm just gonna run and get it. There you go, I'm back. So, a little bit of pepper, okay? We're just gonna leave this here and we repeat again the process for the second layer. The bechamel, we have the beef ragu, parmesan, mozzarella, and again two pasta sheets. And we go with the last layer and we always leave a little bit for the top then, okay? So this is the last layer that we're doing. The cheese is over there, the parmesan and the mozzarella, okay? And we do the last two pieces. Pasta and everything goes in our tray. So, the last bit of bechamel, cheese over there. There you go. A bit of black pepper. Perfect. There you go. Number one, classic lasagna ready to go into the oven. Let's prepare the vegetarian now and then we'll do the Maltese sausage lasagna. So basically, uh, what we're going to do over here is, I'm going to explain to you, I'm going to bring over the ingredients that we have over here for the vegetarian lasagna. Um, over here, this is an interesting um, tip, okay? What I did over here, I put the, the, the barbecue on, I grabbed an aubergine, an onion, a zucchini, and some long red peppers, okay? I put, put them around the foil and threw them on the, into the barbecue half an hour on, on each side with the foil. And this is the result. What I'm gonna do now is I'm going to take the outside of the onion and have it already there, as you see, okay? These ones, I'm going to remove the skin of the peppers, skinless, as you see over there. Right? These will give a beautiful, smoky, barbecue taste, okay? When you do them like that, they leave such an amazing aroma. I know it looks messy, but it's not. It's very clean. There you go. And the last one, the aubergine. There you go. I'm going to show you the aubergine. It's over there, okay? I'm going to open it. There you go. So, these are the vegetables that we have, that we grilled. I'm just going to slice this one like that. Okay? Put the pepper, the onions, what we need to do. We need to just remove a few layers of it. There you go. Over there. One, two, three, and four. Okay? And the aubergine. I'm going to make it into parts. Okay? There you go. Beautiful. There you go. That's enough for our lasagna. Over here we have the walnuts. Okay? We have some kale. We have mushrooms, spring onions, bechamel, and we have 100 grams of parmesan. So we're going to start laying this. We're just going to put a little bit of bechamel in the bottom and we start with the layering. Onion, one, two, right there, like that. We're going to put a little bit of aubergine, a little bit of zucchini, 
and the little bit of red pepper. Now, a little bit of kale, mushrooms, parmesan, this over here, and chop all of it. Okay? I don't want them very fine, but I do, do not want them too huge, you know what I mean? I'm going to just every half you chop it into five or six. That's the texture I want. It's our first layer ready. We're gonna put a little bit of tomato paste and tomato pulp mixed together. A little bit of spring onions. And we start with the layers. Yes. Layer. The more the second layer, the best of you chop the vegetables a little bit smaller. Distribute them as a tray. The jeans. Okay. Parmesan. Tomatoes. There you go. Now, last layer. What you're gonna do is the rest of the bechamel. Spread it around like that. A bit of tomato. And the rest of the cheese. And this is our vegetarian lasagna. Ready. And the third, but not the least, is going to be the Maltese. And here, we're going to clean up a little bit and start with that one. Now the last uh, one, it's uh, the Maltese one, the Maltese sausage one, it's, it's simple. We're going to start with the same process, layering the lasagna. With the cheese. Next layer. The three lasagnas, the vegetarian in the middle. Yeah, let's put some black pepper on top. We have the classical lasagna over here and the Maltese sausage lasagna. From here, we're going to stick them in the oven and you'll see the final product. Now that the lasagnas are all ready and cooked, uh, we're going to take them out of the oven, see what we did over here. There you go. Super. That's the classic, and this is the Maltese. I use the aluminium trays, uh, so you guys can prepare a batch, freeze them, and have them all ready in the freezer, ready for whenever you don't have time to cook. They chuck them in the oven, and they're ready in 30 minutes. Okay, over here, as you see, this is the vegetarian one. Over here, you will see that there is the, the Maltese one, okay? And this was made with uh, Maltese sausage, and also panciale. Now we're gonna put our classical lasagna. I'm just gonna use a little bit of microgreens to garnish. And there you go. Now we're going to plate our Maltese lasagna. A little bit of microgreens. Now we have the last, our last lasagna, the vegetarian lasagna. Cut a little bit of micro beans again. Garnish. Voila. Now our three lasagnas are ready. This is the classical one, this is the Maltese one, and this is the vegetarian. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned because next week we are revealing one of Malta's culinary hidden secrets. See you next week.